Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games and Happy New Year, everybody. It's January 1st. Today's bonus game is the New York Times mini crossword, and I hope my capture is okay for it because I want to make sure my time is right. And so I haven't hit play on it, so I can't see most of the grid. So anyway, if my capture is bad, I apologize. I hope at least you could you could see the grid. I kind of see it behind. Anyway, enough talking. Let's start with cross. We tend to start with cross a lot, don't we? Um, it's not even a very good start. <laughs> an S and an R, um, or just an O in the middle. Let's do the O in the middle. Hmm. I want to do block, but there's no C. You could do a double O, like blood or flood. Can I get, okay, the common letters T, N. We probably want to get an L and an A. Well, we can't get them all, but we should think about these. Probably. Something L O A T like bloat float yeah let's do let's do float let's get the F nothing on from float on both wow um nothing new at least let's see let's try again um we eliminated okay so let's do get the N so let's do like O N E let's get the E so phone. Okay, that was not the letters I was expecting to pop up there, but it is something H O, and then there's a P somewhere. Uh, double O P. Like what goes before that H? A whoop. I think it's whoop. It is. Wow. Okay, we have an E on the right word, so it's probably an E R word. Could it be like I S E R or something like miser? Whoa, all yellow. We got an M. So S M. E R, maybe. I mean that makes sense, right? Or I guess now the E can't be at the end. This is kind of forced if I start with S M. Um, I don't have to start with S M. It could be S something E R M. The sperm is gone. It's the only thing I can think of. Uh, it could be like S E M. R no, S E R something M serum, got it. Whoop and serum, interesting words today. <laughs> All right, well let's move on. Let's do fibble. Um, okay, so can we keep the ID and bring in one of these letters? I guess it would have to be like white. Yeah, wider is a good guess. Wow, look at that result. We have an X wing on the ID already. So all of those are gray. So we either have no I. And a D in place, or we have a yellow D with an I there. So let's go with the more positive information there. Let's start with DI if we can. Dinky comes to mind. <laughs> sure. D is still yellow, I is still gray. So that's actually an X wing with that. No, it's not, because the D is the D's aren't lying. These these have a lie between them. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I think I want to do like I N D Y. Can't do windy though. Um Darn. I don't think there's another I N D Y word, is there? Cindy the name? <laughs> nope. Mindy the name? <laughs> no. Uh Lindy? <laughs> the Lindy Hop? Okay. So we got another X Wing. Very nice. So all of these are true. So there is a yellow D. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's I D something Y. Wait. Um what's the lie? Wait, two oh it can't be I D. Hold on. Wait. The D has to be in one of these two slots. So if we put the D second, could it be another D? No yeah, another D ending in Y. I have to use the L. Oddly, wow, I think that was forced. Wait, uh, apparently not forced. <coughs> um, uh, Dudley? <laughs> no, so I think it, I think it's just D L Y. I think we just need new letters. Oh, like sadly, sadly it was not oddly. It was sadly. All right. Well, we did get the uh, hard mode solved today, so that's nice. Um, wow, that was that was um, interesting. All the lies were were just clustered second and third the entire time. That's crazy. 
That's why it was getting so confusing, but also why I was getting so many X-Wings. So interesting. All right, well, let's try the mini crossword. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to really hope the capture is okay. If it's not, I'm going to have to just throw out my time and fix the capture, but here we go. Uh, good enough. All right. Oh, I can't even see the top. Oh, that's no good. There we go. Now it's... How do I get the top of this? It's because of the zoom level. Yeah, unfortunately, my time's no good. Okay. So the time is at 18. I'm going to start. What hitting the return key can yield? New line? I don't know. Um, next lines? No, that doesn't work. Okay, let's look at seven across. Lightly fry in a pan. Uh, not sure. Something Parker, co-creative South Park, Matt Parker, right? Is it two T's? Long, long time. E epic? Maybe? One down, abbreviation on a birth announcement or a bathroom or a bathroom scale. LBS pounds. Um, absolutely furious. Not sure. Brain study informally. Um, not sure. I don't know if Epic's correct. Consumed. Eaten. No. Okay, they never seem to be where you left them when you're heading out the doors. Is it not Matt Parker? Like keys? Um, I mean, is it keys? Okay, I thought it was Matt Parker, but let's do keys here. Long, long time. Not sure. What, what hitting the enter key can yield? Line break. There we go. Okay, that'll make it easier. One one down. Absolutely furious. I rate. Okay, it's Trey Parker. Um, I guess there's two Parkers. Um, brain study informally. I'm still not sure about that one. Consumed. Is this like eat this is eaten? I was right about eaten. Alright. Uh saute. Oops. And neuro. Nice. Eons. Okay. Uh, so it took me two minutes. <laughs> yeah, I got confused because I filled in Matt, and then I filled in the wrong thing here, too. I filled in Epic. Um, I probably, Epic doesn't even mean long time. I was thinking of Epoch. But anyway, or Epic. But I thought Epic might, because you can have like an Epic story. Anyway, I'm trying to justify it, but line break. I'd tried next lines. <laughs> Interesting. Lightly fry in a pan. Saute. Yeah. Yeah. Neuro is kind of out there. <laughs> is that really the informal, informal way of saying brain study? A neuro? <laughs> Who says that? Cool. Well, let's move on. Let's do connections. And now I have to zoom it in because all of the New York Times games share the same zoom level on Chrome. So I need it at this zoom level for Wordle, 200%. But anyway, um, four groups of four. Let's do it. Millionaire. Who wants to be a pyramid scheme, maybe? Pyramids and wedges are kind of triangular shaped. A wedge salad, a Caesar salad, a green salad, and a Greek salad. These are salads. Okay, kinds of salads. Um, wheel, seed, weed, feud. Okay, so we've got who wants to be a millionaire and family feud. I'm a little bit worried that I just don't know the other game shows, though. Um, wheel of Fortune. Where's Jeopardy? <laughs> Um, okay, I think these go together, but I'm not sure what the last, it might be Pyramid, but I'm not sure what the last game show is, so let's just find the other things. Um, we being small, water, whoa, um, 
These are letters with a W in front, Y, E, and O. What's the other letter with W in front? <coughs> Way. W plus vowel sound. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on to you, Gabe. I'm on to you. I'm going to take a drink of water here. I mean, I feel like we're just going to do Feud, Millionaire, Pyramid, and Wheel as game shows, and then Seed, Water, Plant, and Weed as like gardening things. So let's just try that. Gardening and then game shows. Classic game shows familiarly. What is Pyramid? I'm sure there's a million game shows I don't know, but let me know what Pyramid is. I got it anyway. Very nice. And I knew what the category was, so that's also nice. So I feel like that was a that was a good <laughs> that was a good solve of connections. This people who aren't from the US are going to struggle with this. I mean millionaire is international, but wheel of fortune and family feud and whatever pyramid it are it probably US shows only. But anyway, let's play polygonal. We have an eight letter word. This repeats three times. Well, it repeats twice. Would you say it repeats three times or repeats twice? Repeats twice is more accurate, but it appears three times. So depends on how you want to phrase that. Um, I'm going to try like L-E-S-S, which puts another S here. Actually, I want to do mistress. Really? What else? What else does that? Distress? Oh, it's pronounced differently. <laughs> Different stress. <laughs> well, that was fast. Holy cow. Um, yeah, nice. How many words were there? 41? Oh, not very many ordinary. Business, cashless, distress, mistress, and vastness. All of them end in ESS. So that was definitely the way to go. There was an LESS, cashless. I'm not sure I would have thought of that. That's not really a common word. Guild hall, but guild is spelled G-I-L-D. Weird. Over knee. Should have thought of over knee. Molehill? <laughs> a lot of less words. Okay. Well, let's move on to the mini. It's a river day. There's an I somewhere, probably in the middle. Um, it's really hard to start and end with the same word. Letter. Start and end with the same letter. <laughs> um. Like I in the middle. Oh, it could be it could be like an AI here. Um what would this do? Or an O or you know something. Um what are we starting and ending with? I keep wanting to do L, but L doesn't make a lot of sense. S See I feel like with S we would want to do like yeah, shins. Shins works. All right, so it is an I here. Now we, we, should we entertain the idea of starting and ending with I? Um, I entertained it. I can't think of anything. So I think I goes here. And I think we're... Could we end up with an AI here? Like, hmm, I got rid of the S and the N. Um, trait. But R is gone. I might guess it anyway to see if I'm on the right track, but let's let's keep thinking. Um, tacit. All right, I was right about the AI the whole time, but I still don't know what letters go here. Um, M maybe, Maxim. Wow, that's a tough word. It was a magazine though. All right, is Maxim still around? I think they're gone, aren't they? Anyway, uh, oh, lots of words here. Of course, always. All right, cool. Well, let's move on to the symbol here. Let's start with Blaze. I know you're very surprised. All right, Toxin. So follow up when Blaze gets nothing. All right, we're going to assume the OI are in place. Otherwise, we don't have very many vowels. Um, what can we do here? Uh, you'd think it wouldn't be that hard to think of a word like this. Maybe an R in the middle. Does that help? 
Morris. <laughs> maybe not R. Maybe V? COVID? Does it accept COVID? That would be funny. No. All right. Um... What else would we do? Like, O, I. I mean, I could entertain the idea of the I and the O being swapped. That seems okay. Um, still can't think of a word. Maybe O, R? Vigor. Vigor. <coughs> so... <laughs> It's probably like ST with an N there, like stunk, like my assumptions. <laughs> wow. That was a fun result. Just nothing from Vigor. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's move on. Um, what are we on? Symbol. Okay, we're doing Fusel next. So we are going to start with stunk. There's a K at the end. So let's try. I just want to do clock or click, but I don't want to repeat the C. So I'm trying to think of a different word. <laughs> Brick. Oh, I have to do I have to do a filler. Okay. So we're gonna get the R second. We're gonna get the L somewhere. I don't really care what the first letter is. I want to see if there's a C there. And then I want to get the A and the I. It ends in CK. There's no A or I. There's no L or R. This that really narrows it down. So I think this is probably an O, even though E is available. Um, something like chalk. Something exactly like chalk. Wow. That worked out really well. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, there were probably other options, I'm sure, but check was an option, actually. I don't know why I picked O over C. Over E. You know what I'm saying. All right, we're going to start with chalk. Hey, that was pretty good. So there's an H here. Okay, well, we have to use an R and P in place, so reply is probably as good as we're going to get. There's an R and an E. Okay, so this is H. This can't be... Wait. So this is near O. So this could be the R. No, we're not doing an R after an H. Wait, what are we doing after an H? I think we are doing an R here. I think we're doing something like CHR or something. Not C. SHR. And then this is the E, and then we're doing something like shred. All right, I, I think that R is lying, and I think we're doing something like shrew. There we go. Again, very good fusel solve. Um, obviously, there was a lie in this one. That's why I knew that R was definitely still there. Um, wow, chalk really helped here, and then the R, the reply, just gave me everything I needed. It was just 50-50 between shed and shrew, unless there was another option. But yeah, having an R after an H definitely threw me for a loop. All right, cool. Um, well, those are the games for today. Hope you enjoyed them. I hope the New York Times one was visible enough. And of course, if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.